all right guys uh, welcome back uh, in this video I'm gonna take about five minutes to go over the new Azure website or Azure storage website that's in preview all right I'm gonna be using these two resources in my portal first is the storage account I created this just to make sure we don't waste time creating a storage account because that has already been covered so many times everybody knows how to do that um, the section we're looking at today is the um, static website preview all right now uh, before I actually go into that let me see here this is me uh, I'm creating this just a basic uh, static HTML site and I have it saved and I'm gonna put I want somewhere to put it I don't want to create a, I don't want to worry about doing FTP I just want a static website that's gonna be up for a certain amount of time so this is what this is intent for so I've already done the website um, let me just minimize this go back to my storage and I go to my static website uh, blade and I'll go ahead and enable and then you can give the name of your index file I'm just uh, my index well your primary file mine is still gonna be index I'm not going to put any error and I'll save. And that's it. That has been set up. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'll just copy that and open up in the new tab. Next thing I'm going to do now is jump into my storage account. Uh, sorry into my blob section of my storage account and because the website is enabled I'll see this web option and I'll go in there Then I'll upload my files. and that is it uh, then if I go back here where it says uh, not going to be found if I do a refresh I have my website up and running okay so the next question here now we have this beautiful website here and how about the URL is off you want to customize this to uh, to basically look you know get the feel of what you try to present so this is what we're going to do next. Just going to copy this out. I'm going to jump back into my um, into my uh, storage account, and the easiest way to actually um, do that is to actually set a custom domain on the storage account. Uh, if you look down on the storage account down here, there is this uh, custom domain. So what I'm going to do is go into the custom domain section here. And I'm just going to gather some information. I'm not going to do anything now because you need to set everything up first on your DNS. So uh, number one is to set up the, uh, uh, to, well, you have to sell two CNAME record. One to actually what the sites you want, the other one for verification. So I'm just going to copy these ones out and paste them in my notepad on the side. Okay, now once I have those, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to close out of my um, storage account for now. 
and I'm going to jump into my Azure DNS zone, which is where I have the domain. Taking a sweet time. Okay. Uh, once the domain loads, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set a CNAME record. Okay. So what I'm going to call this is, uh, let's see, AZ store test. And the record I'm setting is a CNAME record. And I want to point, I want it to point to a little website that I copied off here. And just for this test, I'm going to just take down the, um, Time to leave. And once I get a confirmation, I'll click on OK. Okay, and then I need to set another um, CNAME record for verification. Uh, the other CNAME record is not as uh, complicated as it needs to be. Uh, it's just the same uh, record that we set up before, in, but we put in a AS verify in front of it. And let's say CNAME also. And then we're pointing that also to another verification website, uh, verification URL. Let's put that to a minute. We'll give it a few minutes to save. All right. Now, once I have those records all in my in my DNS server, uh, these two records here, then I can now jump back into uh, my um, storage account. Now inside my storage account, I'll go down back to my custom domain. Now inside of my custom domain, I could uh, paste my custom domain here. I don't want to incur any downtime, so I'll say save. It looks like it might not have uh, kicked in yet. 
Mm, let's give it another minute. Okay, perfect. Uh, so that kicked in. So let's go ahead and once we have that in there now, then we can just take this URL. Open up a new tab. And voila, we have our website in there. Okay, so this option is mainly for if you don't want the, if you really do not want the the hassle of um, creating or managing your website, you just want to post something up there. Um, this is this is great. All right, thank you for watching.